So we've been focused on this question of what we can do to feel happier. And so far we've been talking about our cognitive triad. We've been thinking that to affect our happiness, we need to be focusing on changing our behavior, changing our thoughts, and changing our feelings. And you've already heard a lot about behaviors that we can change to make ourselves happier. Now we're going to be shifting to the thoughts we can change to make ourselves happier. And this is pretty critical because you've already heard that our thoughts, by definition, are sort of an important part of the kind of thing that makes us happy, right? Remember, our definition of happiness is feeling happy in your life and with your life. In your life is your emotions, but with your life is how you think your life is going. So literally, your thoughts are part of our definition of happiness, right? So we need to deal with them if we're going to feel happier. But that raises a kind of question, which is I think we often have a certain lay hypothesis about our thought patterns, which is like, what can we really do about them, right? You're just going to have a thought. It's going to pop up, and like, it's going to be your thought, right? Like, how do you actually deal with that? How can you actually change it? And this comes with a big revelation. In fact, of all the things I teach in the course, I think this one, for me personally, has really affected the way I go about trying to think about my own happiness. And this is a misconception that we have about how thoughts and thinking works, which is we are not our thoughts. Yes, an initial thought might pop in your head, but you actually have complete control about whether you follow that thought down a rabbit hole or start ruminating about thought that thought or you keep going, right? We actually have a lot more control over our thoughts than we think. And my favorite quote this here comes from uh, Viktor Frankl, who was a famous uh, mental health researcher. He was also a Holocaust survivor, so had a lot to say about kind of how you find meaning and happiness in life. But he notes that everything can be taken from a man, but one thing, the last of these human freedoms, to choose one's attitude, basically to choose one's thoughts in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way, right? We always have control over our thoughts. It takes work and it takes a lot of practice, but we can do it. That's the thing that we need to focus on to feel happier. We need to be focused on how we can change our thoughts and putting some effort into changing those.